Okay. So we're talking about, you know, your time in the new age and how you, you sort of ended up in that place because of all the pain and heaviness that you were feeling from sleeping around and living this party rebel life. Now it's like you realized you needed healing, but you weren't ready to do it like the Christian way. So you were doing it the world's way, which is this nor- more uh, mainstream, like new age spirituality way. Mm-hmm. So how did you end up like, what was the escalation of darkness in this to where you were able to see it for what it was? Okay. So there was just a lot of things that I was still like, so confused like when when it was happening and stuff like I didn't know what I know now obviously but um like I definitely knew that like something was wrong like just with my life like there was something missing Mm. and so I just knew that like when I would like smoke weed or when I would even do like LSD like I would feel that there's like a spirit world like I would feel like it would like open this door up into like other beings. And um, like, I would often like hear voices too, when I was like, um, like smoking weed. And I felt like it was like my spirit guides or my angels that were like downloading things into me, but it was really just demons. Um, What kind of things were they telling you? Just like things that like, um, like just about like, the world and like an illusion like I remember I was like so like faded like I was smoking but I would hear like an angel voice and then like a like a dark voice like it's like I truly had like an angel like it was probably God's voice like shouting or like fighting with like a demon and what's interesting is when they're talking to you you think it's such like profound philosophical thought about the world and the way things work (laughs) It's so true. Like, oh my gosh, just the way that like, I, for some reason had like angel numbers, like everybody has like a number. And like, when I see that number, I think of that person, like, it just like was like that, or like, I see like the same number and over and over again. And it'd be like, oh, wow, I'm like on the right path. Like, I'm like, oh, this person's thinking about me because I saw that number. Like, it was, like, a weird way of, like, how I, like, would try and control things, Um, I feel like. Yeah. And so, yeah, like, when you said that they, they're, like, downloading, like, philosophical things, yeah. I thought that I was, like, finding the meaning of life. Like, I thought I was, like, um, just making, like, so much breakthrough in my life. But, I like, it was all fleeting. Like, I, it's it was all just, like, an illusion um and that's how I felt like on like LSD I felt like I was like expanding my mind and like hearing from the universe like I felt like I was really like making like revolutionary discoveries like I really thought I was like and then when you come to truth in Christ you look back and you're like what a hodgepodge of like nonsense like I remember sitting there one time in writing like pages of notes I was watching I was into Gaia TV and I remember watching something about like the Pleiadians and like their contact with humans and I'm writing like notes about and it's about like a historical timeline and it includes like earth and I look back I'm like none of that stuff was true that was all just straight up false teaching because now as like a believer in the bible God He tells us the truth and how we came to be and how he made us and what's going on. And Mm. then I was writing these notes of like million and millions of years timelines and the connect, the ancient connection, Canadians. And and you think you're downloading all this ancient wisdom, but it's just hodgepodge from demons. (laughs) Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's such a like, wow. Yeah. 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 So also, I also used to seek my life meaning from them. I would ask, what is my purpose in life? And that's when things really hard for me because they started giving me answers. Mm. And when I started living those things out, my life became even more destructive Mm. and chaotic and painful and traumatic. So did you get to that place with them of like seeking your meaning? Yeah, I think I would. I was 
I was getting to this point where like I had tarot cards, like I was like getting into like this, like spiritual awakening, like all this stuff. And I would like do the cards and I do them with people like I would have moon rituals with other girls that are like, don't even that weren't even in the new age. I was just like, you guys need to try this. Like, you're that you're acting like that because your moon is in Aquarius. Like, it was so like, crazy so I would have like these moon rituals with all of these girls and like they were curious and stuff but I was like their teacher like I was like teaching them and like teaching them how to incense properly and like all of this stuff and I remember just doing the tarot cards we're all like in a circle and um I keep on getting like the devil card mm-hmm. and I just keep on getting the devil card like over and over again, like three times, I think I get it. And I just feel like this like scary, like demonic presence, like in me, like on me. And that's when I was like, I just got fear. Like I filled up with fear and I was like, something's not right. Like, I, I don't know about these cards. That's when it was like a small little voice was like, probably God being like, ah, oh, these cards, I don't know. What, what is this that I'm feeling? Yeah. And then, but my friend would be like, no, the devil card, that means you're like on your way to like breakthrough or there's some like meaning of that. Uh, yeah. so, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know about that. So yeah. I never liked that card because it always like scared me. Um, so yeah, when I would like be on like LSD and like stuff, I feel, feel like I would like, one time I had this like hallucination of like, I think I was like not even in my body. Like I was like out in the spirit world and I saw myself like on this like throne and it was like, I was like the queen and oh, wow. people, people were like waiting for me to finish breathing. Oh my God. And it was basically like, I feel like now, like it was like this, like, weird twisted like demonic thing of like trying to be god trying like a narcissist like that's what a narcissist thinks that everything is like like you're on a throne and just everything is all of creation is like of hearing to your voice and I feel like that's what that um vision did to me it just boosted my ego I was like wow yes I'm so important you know what I mean like that's I had those on psychedelics where I was the queen of my tribe and I was yeah. giving them all these messages and I, I used to lead the moon circles too. Mm-hmm. And I know exactly what you're talking about in the queen feeling too. Yeah. It went so far as mm-hmm. like I was engaged to a different guy at that time. I didn't end up marrying this guy, but he was like wanting to open our relationship. And when you're in the new age and the worldly kind of stuff, that's not that far fetched. Yeah, it's not, you know, and so that's the way the pagans did it. So I remember he wanted to open our relationship and we're all tripping. And Mm. I had a girlfriend there that he was attracted to and he like kept flirting with her and talking to her. And I was like, a like, I thought I was a queen handing over my crown so that she could be like, so that she could level up to her goddess potential mm. or whatever. Like, I don't even know how to explain it, but like, I loved her and she was my friend. And so, in my new age belief system, I was like, I need to let her be seen as a goddess because she's healing and she's all these things. And, and like, she needs this opportunity to be seen by the masculine and in a healthy way, just all these lies. Like, yeah, I didn't realize like spirits were literally abusing me. Like yeah. I was literally being abused emotionally by these demonic oh spirits and going through this thinking that I was like going through some spiritual journey of, mm. of leveling up. And yeah, mm. so that's crazy. The queen analogy, like I know what you mean in that sort of ego and pride, the yes. same one that that Lucifer had right. so fell from heaven. Mm. yeah that like whole everything like divine feminine it's like replacing god really in ourselves like that's what the i feel like that's what his like marketing strategy is yeah you know because we're we already feel so broken so if we can make ourselves and like reassure us in like a non-godly way and that's what he did Um, like how to get to this point that yeah like how to get to this point without jesus and it's completely negating the verse. The only way, it's actually the verse of the day. I think it was John 14, 6. Yeah, the only is. way to the Father is is through Jesus. And, mm. and 
Satan like literally mocks it. Yeah. I feel like that's the first verse that like I had a problem with in my falling away from Christianity where I was like, actually, no, I was like, you can get to God in all these other kinds yeah. of, and mm-hmm. that's when I realized I was, well, I didn't realize at the time, but you're actually opening yourself up to lots of demons. 